it's Marina, travel experta, and today we're going to be talking about bees and bees tours, fun facts about bees, because if you can do a bee tour wherever you visit and they do have them, it is a must, must do. So are you guys ready to make every day an adventure? Let's begin. So we live in Antigua, Guatemala. And there are all these beautiful mountains all around us. They're not huge mountains. I guess more like mounts or hills, right? And there's all these different types of mountain cabins and whatnot. And one day, me and my friends were passing by this area called the Bees Cabanas. We're like, what does that mean? And we looked deeper into it. And what it is, is they have this huge bee farm. And you could also stay there in the cabana, have lunch, or you could just come and do the actual tour of beekeeping and seeing what bees are all about. So me and my friend took our sons, our kids, to do this bee, a bee tour adventure. And it was unbelievable. Probably one of the best tours that I have taken in so long. First of all, you have to dress up, right? Like we were going into the area with all the bees where all every all the action happened and they have all the different outfits necessary completely covering you from head to toe and that included for the kids and one of our kids was six years old and they had you completely taken care of so what's interesting is the people that take care of the bees they have this magical connection with the bees Whatever the magical connection is, I don't know. But let me tell you, this guy, he walked in to where we were completely, fully decked out. He went in in his normal clothes. He was wearing a t-shirt, face wide open. And I guess maybe the bees have bitten him enough for him to have not to have any reaction to this. Whatever the reason was, first and foremost, none of them touched him. And secondly, there were thousands of bees. So we started with the bees, learning all about the bees and understanding how the bees work, what their whole housing thing is, and just everything. And we also learned a lot of really cool and interesting fun facts. First and foremost, did you know that bees have five eyes? That's right, five eyeballs. So they are seeing everything from every direction. Another really interesting fact, the only bees that sting are female bees. And you know why? Because female bees are also the worker bees. So wherever you see any bees that are around pollinating and doing all the work, it's female bees. The other interesting thing about the bee population, queen bees, which is obviously another female they can lay up to almost 2,000 eggs per day. Can you believe that? Almost 2,000 eggs per day. So the whole, everything revolves around the bee. Whole bee colonies start from a bee, a, a queen bee. So if a queen bee moves, so will they. So you, for you to be able to start a new bee colony, you need to first have a queen bee. Otherwise, it will never happen. Here's another very interesting fact. A bee produces only a teaspoon of honey, which is less than five grams in her entire lifetime. Can you believe that? So to produce a kilogram of honey, bees have to fly the equivalents of three times around the world, literally, to be able to give us a kilogram of honey. And only, could you imagine, I'm not even going to do the math, one bee can only produce five grams in their entire lifespan. So bees are fascinating, right? There have been so many things saying that bees are aliens and whatnot, but here's the reality. And this is one of the saddest realities is that the bee colonies are dying. So after we did our amazing tour, about a month later, we found out that the, a competitor bee, bee colony, other place, which we're not even sure where, came and they killed all of these other bees that we saw. There was over 2 million bees. So basically, for no reason, just because they were competing. The reality is, if bees aren't pollinating for us, and that's what they do, they're literally what they're doing is they're pollinating and then they're taking whatever else to their colony. So they are literally the breath of the world. There's a 
good movie called Bee's Life. I think it's called The Bee's Life. It's a cartoon B story. I can't remember exactly the name right now. Recommend it. And at one point, they show you that without a bee pollinating and do, making honey, nothing can, can survive. We need bees to survive. They don't hurt us. They only hurt us when we are scared of them. Without bees, we cannot continue giving life to our plants and our trees. So these are just little minor facts. So first and foremost, if you can find a place where you could go and visit a bee colony and take a tour that is structured and organized, I cannot even tell you how highly I recommend it. And secondly, take care of our bees. They really matter. If you like honey or not, if you're vegan or not, whatever your Whatever your tastes are, that's not the point. The point is bees are here to help us. They are here to move our world forward. And today's climbing change and the whole world of all these different problems, having bees, taking care of our bees, it is essential. So remember, bees are amazing. And if you want to make every day an adventure, doing something like a cool bee tour will truly, truly make an adventure for you and also really educate you. So as you can see, I'm very partial to this whole bee tour thing. And I find that it's it was one of the best things, completely surprising to all of us how great it was. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave me a review and share it with your friends. And if you want more ideas for making every day an adventure, go to my site, travelexperta.com. That's travel expert with an A.com. And I have a bunch of ideas for you. And remember, let's make every day an adventure.